Hey y'all, my name is Ryan. Welcome to my channel. I help everybody with their crafting needs like tutorials and also small business things. And up until this point, I have generally been doing tutorials and things like that, but I wanted to take a step aside and talk a little bit about business. Hopefully you like that kind of thing. I actually want to talk about shipping. And maybe y'all don't know about shipping too much and you want to learn and I'm here to teach you a few things that I think a lot of people don't know about. In particular with USPS, that's the United States Postal Service or your post office. There are different classes of mail. It used to be first class, first class package, and then priority mail, priority mail express. Now first class mail is just your regular mail that you get in the mail with a stamp on it. It doesn't have tracking or anything. And USPS first class packages no longer exist. It's now called USPS Ground Advantage. And that is usually the least expensive way to ship something that has a tracking number with it. And also bonus, that also has $100 of insurance, which before the cheap old method, which was the first class package method, did not have insurance unless you purchased it. So that's a great thing. Also, before USPS first class packages were only for like up to one pound or 15.999 ounces. And after that, it was priority mail. But now you get charged per ounce up to 15.999 ounces with the uh, ground advantage and then anything over that you get charged by the pound let me know in the comments if i messed that up but what i really love are priority mail and priority mail express flat rate envelopes you might be wondering what that is and why you might use it well priority mail usually gets there in one to three business days although that's not guaranteed unless you use priority mail express that's backed with the money back guarantee some things that i think that a lot of small businesses or businesses in general don't know even if you're not a business by the way are flat rate envelopes it's a great way to save money getting your item to your customer a little quicker especially if it's something heavy but yet small i'm gonna go over a few priority mail options that's from the united states postal service and how much those cost today it is May 2024, so that's what the prices are right now and what you can put inside of them. So let me show you. So this is a priority mail flat rate envelope padded mailer. So they're a bubble mailer and they're pretty kind of large. So whatever you can fit inside of here that is 70 pounds or less will ship for usps.com says it will ship for nine dollars and thirty cents commercial pricing or ten dollars and sixty cents at the post office and you might get a more of a discount purchasing through something like your website provider shopify or maybe you use another service like shippo or pirate ship is a great option as well so what i like to use the padded mailers for is actually my bottle openers and when people order like 10 or 20 or something of them they're kind of like heavy they're metal bottle openers and what i can do is roll them up together tape them together and then just roll this up it doesn't have to stay the big you know envelope and then i got to ship that for the one cost and it might get there a little faster so this is a usps priority mail envelope flat rate envelope and it's a little bit cheaper to send to your customer it still has all the same requirements of it needs to be like less than 70 pounds but just because it's paper doesn't mean anything okay it's cheaper to ship so that is eight dollars and fifty cents commercial pricing and nine dollars and 85 cents at the post office again you might get a discount through another provider but that's what usps.com says and in comparison the bubble one was nine dollars and thirty cents so that's like almost a dollar difference but you know what you can do you can take this and then you got your bubble mailer and just put it inside of there make your own bubble mailer that's how i do things for a little bit cheaper i did this a lot more whenever before usps ground advantage came out because anything over a pound had to be priority mail and 
that was a cheaper way to ship things. But I still use this method to this day. If it will get there a little quicker and the price is like, you know, better because of the weight or whatnot. Another envelope they have is the USPS priority mail flat rate envelope in the legal size. So it's a little bit bigger. It's a little wider uh, of an envelope. And the pricing on that is going to be $8.80 for commercial pricing, $10.15 at the post office. So it's 30 cents more. So those are a couple of great options that's completely free. They also have flat rate boxes, but like quite honestly, I think they're way overpriced and you're better off just like using a, you can get free boxes from USPS that are not flat rate. I like the shoe box size and I use that one quite often for different things and you don't have to do flat rate on that, but you do have to send it priority mail. So that's the downfall, but I think their flat rate boxes are extremely overpriced for like no reason. Okay, my favorite things, the priority mail express flat rate envelopes. They have a few different kinds. They have the padded, the regular paper one, and the legal size. I always keep those on hand because my items are usually pretty small and they fit inside of there and there's a ton of advantages to getting that item as quickly as possible. And I use these a lot, especially if like a customer spends several hundred dollars. Like let's take the bottle openers for example. Say they ordered, I don't know, 20 of them. Well, It'll fit inside of one of these envelopes, the bubble envelope, because you can even put a box inside of there. As long as it fits, it ships, and it's less than 70 pounds. So the two they have are the paper one and the padded one. Now these ones are blue. And no, you can't use the priority mail bub other ones. The red ones cannot be for express mail and express mail cannot be for regular priority mail. You gotta use the corresponding one. So at the time of filming this, again, May 2024, bubble mailer, flat rate. So if it fits, it ships, and you can put a box or something inside of there, is going to be $26.85 commercial pricing or $31.20 at the post office. And that's within the United States. By the way, all this is within the US. The paper one, again, same thing. You could take like a bubble mailer and put it inside of there because it is a little bit cheaper, I believe. It's $26.35 commercial pricing or $30.45 at the post office for the paper one. So I guess the pricing's really not that much different. I never find the bubble mailers at my post office. I always have to order those on USPS.com. The bubble mailers are my favorite. Now here's some other things, okay? This is why it's my favorite. So not only does it cost $26 and some change to get to the customer very quickly, but it gets there the next business day or the next day, my bad, not on Sunday, or two business days. It'll tell you whenever you're, you're, you're buying your shipping label. So it's next day to two business days. So they're basically getting it like overnight one two you get free signature confirmation but you need to make sure you check the little signature confirmation box on the platform you're buying your shipping label from whether that's shopify pirate ship etsy whatever it's usually not checked but if you're using a express mail envelope or you're sending express mail in general signature confirmation is free now here's the best part if the postal service does not deliver by the day that they say they're gonna deliver you are entitled to a refund that's right and i've done it two or three times now so say when i'm checking out it says it's gonna be there the next day and it gets there the day after next then you can go to usps.com i think it's under help yeah, it's under help and you click requesting a refund and there's instructions on how to get a refund and they'll check and see if they missed their service guarantee. And if they did, then they send you a check in the mail for the cost of the shipping. So not only did you get something to your customer probably in like 
two business days in this in this scenario but you also got it for free because they missed their service guarantee now that doesn't always happen typically they get it there the next day or the day after next whichever day it's the next day to two business days but if they miss that make sure you request a refund oh so even if you have a box i'm gonna take this box of gloves i wear gloves whenever i'm doing orders and stuff you can put that inside the envelope that's fine do it all the time say you got a tumbler and you want to send it in a bubble mailer i usually don't it fits in there you can send that just like that so those are some great shipping methods maybe you didn't know about and i hope you can take advantage of do remember that you need to meet the requirements it has to be like less than 70 pounds you can pick up the supplies for free on usps.com you can usually pick up the paper mailers at your local post office even though they are self-adhesive i do recommend going ahead and putting a piece of shipping tape on there just to be safe but i hope you learned something today please make sure you subscribe turn on the notification bell do all that jazz because i love helping other creators small businesses handmade businesses in particular and i let me know if you liked this if you want more business content i actually like designed my own website from scratch and i have a lot of back end coding and stuff lots of nerdy stuff if you want to check it out go to instantlyunique.com that's my business where i sell things if you want more help ryancanmakeit.com is my blog where it has all my resources tutorials blog posts and all that good stuff on what i am doing so maybe you can learn something there if you would like a free review of your shopify store or you're looking to get started on a shopify store i am offering a free shopify review or consultation i guess we should say there'll be the link in the description there where you can sign up and connect with me you'll just enter your information and then i'll send you a little form to fill out so i can learn more about your business and we can connect and hopefully get your store maybe fixed up a little bit or started on shopify and if you have any other questions please drop a comment and make sure i reply to all those comments until next time Happy crafting!